Hi everyone! So, nandito na naman po tayo sa isang panibagong video na kung saan i-feature natin ang official ISAT for ang electronic self-assessment tool. Pero, bago tayo dumako sa ating video, kung bago ka pa lamang sa aking channel, uh, please don't forget to like, share, leave a comment down below, and of course, subscribe para po ma-notify ka sa mga upcoming videos ko. Thank you! Before we go to the answering of sa ISAT, i-introduce ko muna sa atin ang self-assessment tool. Yeah, So, this comprises assessment questionnaires within our RPMS. So, this is designed for both teachers and master teachers. This can also be used as starting point for informal purposes of self-reflection to clarify performance, expectations, and determine which competencies to focus on. Yeah. And of course, to guide discussions about goal-setting and professional development needs of teachers. First, that's why we have two sets of SAT RPMS tools for proficient teachers for the teacher 1 to 3 and for the highly proficient teachers which are the master teacher 1 to master teacher 4. So, bakit nga ba tayo nagkakaroon ng ISAT? Bakit pa paulit-ulit ang ISAT? Because ang ISAT is just a part of the cycle. Kung si IPCRF every year natin ginagawa. Same with the ISAT. Naglabas na ng official ISAT tool ang ating Department of Education. Alright? So, this helps the teacher to reflect on the different objectives related to their professional work. The tool supports schools in analyzing school-wide SAT data of teachers to help plan for teachers' prof professional development. Lastly, the results of the self-assessment will guide teachers on which RPMS objective they must improve and the areas where they need coaching and mentoring. Ayan. So, this is more on the technical assistance to be provided kung saan man tayo sa palagay natin sa mga sarili natin uh, kailangan i-improve. Right? So, this is the, these are the roles and responsibilities of key personnel for the ESAT of the school year 2021-2020-2021. But then, this will be also in, uh, used for the school year 2021-2022. to So, teachers will be the one to open the ESAT and will be the one to answer in the ESAT. While the ICT personnel or department heads will be the on collecting the ESAT data and then generating the summary result of ESAT data. Right? School heads, summary results of ESAT data, analyzing summary results of ESAT data, and lastly, submitting the sum school summary results to the SDO. While the SGOD, HRDS, will be the ones generating the summary result of ESAT data. And afterwards, they will be the one to analyze the summary result of ESAT data. Right? Yan. So, ito na yung ating magiging flow. So, hindi ko na ito isa-isahin kasi lagi naman na natin itong ginagawa. So, scan lang natin. So, si teacher, ayan, and then ICT coordinator, and then the department heads, and then the school heads, ayan, and then the escort. Okay, so, reminders, these are some of the reminders before using the ESAT file. So, the ESAT file for 2020 to 2021 or 2021 to 2022 works best in NS Office 2010 or newer. So, kung if you are using 2007, baka magkaroon ng problema. This shall be used during the phase 1 of RPMS 2020 to 2021 or the school year 2021 to 2022. Each teacher shall have one ESAT collection file. Right? Don't type fields with drop-down button. Yeah. So, malalaman nyo mamaya kung bakit eh, isa ito sa ating mga record, uh, reminders. Alright. So, number 1. Uh, i-download natin yung file. Kapag dinownload natin yung file, i-right click natin siya. And then, extract here. Pinakamabilis yung extract here para mismo dun sa desktop mo siya or kung saan man siya na-download. Alright? So, kung makikita nyo dito sa number 2, eto na yung nasa arrow sa number 2. 
yung itsura ng file na madadownload po natin kapag na-extract na po natin. Right? Next, letter B, accomplishing and submitting the ESAC. This is care of for the teacher. Right? So, number one, open the ESAC file and enable macros. Don't forget to do this. Ha? Click enable everything. Ayan, makikita niyo yan. Yung kulay bilaw na yan. Yung may bilog na yan. Manikita niyo yan. At huwag niyo kalimutang i-click sa enable everything and enable content. Alright? So, note that the process of enabling macros may differ in different versions of MS Excel. Opo, magkakaiba po yan. So, number two, accomplish the participant consent data privacy agreements form. Don't forget to read the instruction. And then, click start to begin. Accomplish the participant consent data privacy agreement form by clicking agree or disagree. Clicking disagree will bring you back to the introduction page and will not be able to complete the ESAT. So, clicking agree, you will be redirected to the next page. Number three, accomplish part one or the demographic. So, uh, karamihan po dito ay drop down. Big sabihin, kapag tinapat nyo yung cursor, meron kayong makikita ang triangle. So, drop down. Pagdating sa level thought and grade level thought, kapag pinindot nyo sila sa umpisa, wala munang lalabas dyan. Kailangan or dapat sagutan muna si school type and curricular classification. Kapag nasagutan nyo na yung dalawa, sakalang mag appear dito yung drop-down options. Okay, dito po nagkaroon ng problema sa yung ibang teacher sa pagsasagot ng IPCRF. Kasi same, uh, same lang po sila ng way kung paano sasagutan yung level thought and grade level thought. So, number four, answer the objectives. Part two, appropriate to your position. Right? Take the circle that corresponds to how you rate the objectives based on the level of capability and level of priority development. That means, parehong column dapat may sagot kayo. Kasi kapag meron kayong iniwan na column, hindi yan magpuproceed kahit kapag pinindot na natin si next. Alright? So, please answer the ESAT objectives honestly. You may write some personal comments about your practice in relation to the objectives at the bottom of this page. And then, of course, you can click next to proceed on the next page. Number five, answer the core behavioral competencies or part three. Take the box of the behavioral indicators that you demonstrated during the performance cycle. Click save when you are done. Step six, you, you can now view your assessment. After step five, the result of your assessment will be reflected on this kind of page. You can now Print your data. The teacher should ensure that his or her computer is connected to the printer using the file and print options on MS Excel. Print out is set to A4 size bond paper. So, hindi po siya nababago ang size. size. Nakaset na po siya doon sa size na yan. Note, the print out shall not be filed by the ICT coordinator or the department head nor to the principal. That means, you have to print your, your own copy for your own reference. Para ka po, pagdating ng IPCRF rating, or kung saan man siya gagamitin, mayroon kang copy. Number nine, provide a password to further protect your data. Supply a password to lock your ESAT file. This password will be required to unlock the file for viewing of results. Click finalize and notice the survey completion will then pop up. Number 10, submit the soft copy of the file to your department head or ICT coordinator or school head for consolidation. So, depende kung, kan kung, kung sino ang naka-inassign sa isa school nyo, kung sa ICT, kung ano yung instruction na binigay sa inyo, kung sa ICT ba or sa school head. And then, of course, please uh, bear in mind the file name. So, the file name should be Deped Prescribed ESAT School Year 2021-2022 and then your level kung elementary ka or junior high school or senior high school. Last name and then your first name. Just like what you are seeing on our video. Letter C. Collecting the individual ESAT file. So this is care of of the 
department head or school ICT personnel. Check if the finals file names are distinct so that no file can be overwritten. Ayan. So, kailangan po talagang pare-pareho po. So, all caps po ah, based dito sa ating example. Kung makikita ninyo, all caps, ibig sabihin lahat, capital, let open each file and check if it shows the survey completed page. So, kailangan ganito yung itsura niya, yung may makikita kang view. And then, ensure 100% submission before generating. So, you can find this file on this link, right? So, thank you for watching. Of course, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you!